this will be the last episode for now. Oh, and this was the right way to go. I can tell because I know exactly who's on the other side of that. That's how rebellion is playing the goddamn way. play game. Flynn playing the idea. Everything flows together so damn nicely. Compassion for me. All right, new thing for kiddo. I'll finish this quick. <laughs> Honestly, that's just a joke looking combo. I don't care what you say. Shit. Everyone is going to die. And then I will run away. So, Amorphous, Undead, and Fiend. There are invincible little shadow buggers that are going to be around the entire screen. It's going to suck. We cannot let this guy get break soul. It will suck. So, Amorphous, Undead, Fiend. Amorphous. Nothing for the others. He just used Soul Burst. Nope. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, we managed to dodge some of that. So that's his, like, super maneuver. Ow. Okay, I managed to perfect dodge some of that somehow. Okay. 
And Einzen is dead. This is why I said it would be very important to make sure that we did not give him soul. And I did because I thought it would be a good idea and I was wrong. So now here's what we do. We fucking book it. So yeah, that's why we're not fighting him. <laughs> not today, not right now, no sorry, Bob. Because it would be an exceptionally bad idea to do so. Step one, never give that monster soul. Step two, uh, make damn sure. That, uh, you're prepared. And number three. The most important step. Uh, enemy book. Library. Enemy book. That motherfucker's level 18. We're level 10. It's nearly double our level. So. That is why. I told you. I told you. We don't fight to the hanged man. We don't. And he can show up in any fight. Hands can just decide. Yep, I am here now. You're fighting the Reaper. Yeah, and the annoying thing is that he has constant invulnerable ads that will run up to your goddamn healers and say, no, you don't get to exist today. Oh, did you want to, like, heal the allies? Sorry. They were actually doing pretty well until he used his super skill. And also the fact that he just never is able to be hit because he's too busy using fucking mud maneuver. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Attack, except for Break Soul. And Break Soul is not a good guard break. Like, if I check. Is Megasonic Thrust? No. If 
but it is good against the armored. Twin Whip is probably one of the only things that lets you survive in that battle because it does lower the enemy attack. <laughs> Hours. Don't get up the Fighting. He has at least an anti skill. I mean, if it was AI Zelda is going to end themselves, Sorry to catch if I switch down. over to them, and I'm not the best at combat with them. Whereas I beat the entire game as basically just Velvet, quite honestly. Gap. Always ready to fight. I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I were you. All right, we got another ring mastery. Nice. Hmm. Go ahead and trade you those. Been over there, kind of. The only spot we haven't been is uh, that line there, I think. Which is fine, it's more so just a shortcut than it is actually having any loot, so we're good to just get out of here. And meat. Uh, the only thing that challenges the cats on the level of Grins. The Twirlder. Well, I terribly butchered the pronunciation there, but you'll understand why I did so. Oh, you will. Also, I think this is the most evil thing Velvet does. Actually, that sounds like spoilers, so no. Just a very mean thing. So we're we're getting up to level eleven. We're not fighting a level eighteen boss at level eleven. You better be ready. You might 
Oh, so, oh. Well, you can totally do it. The question is not, is it possible? The question is, should I? I don't know why my character didn't block that. My head was nowhere near the guard button. Come on, really? Are you a turtle demon or something? No, no, you got it all wrong. I'm the white turtles. Sorry about spooking you, Zol. If you're not a demon, then perhaps you're a Moloch. Nope, I'm just a plain old turtles. Nothing more and nothing less. I'm sure you guys have lots of questions about me, but for now, I'd appreciate it if you could hold off on them. Uh, right. Sure, if you insist. Much obliged. The turtles are traveling merchants of considerable savvy. Their services could be quite useful for members of the underworld like us. You don't say. Sounds handy. You betcha. And that old white turtle shop. We believe the customer's smile is what matters most. That being said, this being where it is, my prices unfortunately might be a little on the high. Oh no, you're going to give us a bargain. I'd love to do that, Cease. But when you do business out in remote areas like this, the costs add up and, well... You're just taking advantage of the situation. Um, I can't entirely deny that, but... Then that settles it. You'll do business with us at market prices, and that's final. We should seal the deal with a smile, too, since it matters so much to him. Like this. <laughs> much obliged! I'm so sorry that Velvet tormented you like this, Mr. Turtles. So, we got Amber Blade, which we already have. Amber Bracelet, which we do not. Uh, we have Amber Bag, which we picked one up for. Amber Pendant, which I don't believe we have. Uh, let me just go ahead and sec. So, a bunch of Amber Blades. We have Amber Paper. Yeah. Okay, we do have plenty of amber pendants. Good. Junk. And then dismantling time. Hmm. 
Anything amber we may as well upgrade, since bronze scrap is a lot harder to find. Oh, that went up by both. Okay, that is really good amber paper upgrade. Good to know. Ten percent faster earth casting times. Neat, I suppose. So now we can sell amber equipment because we've just about leveled up all the amber equipment. Let's see. 20 minutes only. It's not bad. Now. <sighs> More cave. <laughs> not much. You sure know how to drive a hard bargain, Velvet. What else was I supposed to do? Would you rather I devoured him and swiped all his stuff? You're more frightening than the Reaper. Still, that Turtles was an interesting guy. It's a big world, kid. A lot of strange folks out there. So I'm discovering. <laughs> he probably took one look at us and thought the very same thing. Hmm. A demon, a Moloch, and a Reaper. We've got it all. Ain't that the truth? Not yet. We still got a couple more s vagabonds to pick up before we can truly say we have them all. What are turtles, anyway? Some sort of turtle men. <laughs> yeah, but what are they? They are what they are. All you need to know is that they're good at peddling things. They're probably just called turtles because they wear all those sea turtle shells on their backs. After all, Rokuro means sixth son, and that's what I am. I was Teresa's second tethered Malakin, so I was number two. That's a title, not a name. Huh? Would someone just give the kid a name already? A name? For me? <sighs> Alright, class. Say it with me now. What's Velvet gonna name the kid? Hey, <sighs> cheeseburgers. Oh, well. No, not, a, not that at all. That's just my way of... Uh. <laughs> It's always on the ones where I'm almost goddamn dead. And twin charm. Upgrade mats, money, and a little bit of EXP from beating up bad guys. What more can a guy ask for? Uh, I can't wait until we get the magic skateboard. If you think I'm joking, well, you obviously don't know this game. <laughs> uh. Yeah, 
twin is really only good on amorphous enemies because otherwise they get swept up by it. It's hard to get the second hit off. Your style is really. I'll try and let them talk afterwards if I notice that they're saying something new, but I'm just very, very used to skipping it. At least these conversations by these people in this area. This is usually the point of the game where I just stop playing because, well, this cave, I end up wanting to fight Hanged Man, and then I spend like an hour trying to get him so up my loot, and then I have to spend another hour if I want to go fight him again because I lose all my progress. I'll cut down anyone in my way! So, yeah. But, not doing that this time. I am actually going to walk away from Hanged Man when he throws up if I'm losing. Rather than just trying in vain to beat him up. And there's so much of this game that I want to get to, and there's so much I want to show you guys, so... That's exactly what I plan on doing. Now, Mr. Hangman, you have one last opportunity to throw the hell up before I get out of this goddamn cave. We're finished here. Let's go. 1.77, though. We did buy you the. No, we didn't. Uh, that'll be fine. Here I come. Uh, no, we should do it right. Last step allows me to just teleport next to somebody. It makes them really good when I'm having them target distant enemies. I'll cut down anyone in my way. Alright, alright. Always ready to fight. <laughs> Because he I wish stopped I had power like that. spamming his ability. Because I told him to only do it when he was full on silver. Most of the game is just one giving it to bosses. We're finished here. Here we go. Alright, let's do some more running. Jesus, it's already been 30 minutes. We're close enough to it anyway. Anyway, since enemies respawn on real time, we'll be able to just walk back here, grab the thing, and then walk back out without them respawning. Erp. At least, I'm 90% sure that's the case. It's always been awkward, where I have to come in here, beat up a billion enemies trying to find the hanged man, and then leave, and then come back. That way they actually spawn. Bye. There. Oh, 
That's mostly just so that I can get the thing up. Store level. And the reason why we never have anything coarse is because I'd have to take an amber blade, upgrade an amber blade, and then deconstruct an amber blade in order to get the coarse. So to get things to level 3, it's an annoying extra step. Doable, but annoying. Uh, you can also just use it to transfer, like, make 50 level 1 amber blades, and then break them down in order to upgrade your bronze stuff. Which is a way of doing things. Costs a bit of money, but... I mean, if you need the stats, it can be pretty good. Don't waste my time. So that's more for when you have optimized gear. Right now, I'm just using whatever in order to get the master bonuses. Because I want to make sure I get the permanent upgrade going early. Because I've been in the late game where I'm just like, oh, I don't have all the things. Come on, really? Capability versus amorphous. I hate that bastard. Capability versus fiends. He counts. Apply spells damage. The ads better just keep it on default for you. But if, and I swear, if that bastard shows up, we'll be ready for him. I don't think he can sew up out here. Looks like Ifrid's first mate has a strange superstition. It's just a habit. Only comes up tails anyway. What land did that coin come from? I've never seen a coin with a goddess on one side and the reaper on the other. Strictly speaking, that's not the reaper on the back. It's an image of the demon king, Daos. Where have I heard that name before? Martell the goddess. And Daos, the Demon King. The Book of Ragnarok, Chapter 765. The Battle of Idrisil. Whoa, you're awfully well read. The coin was dug up from some ancient ruins in another land. They called the place Carlin long ago. It's made from soft, ordinary gold. But they had some process to harden the metal and make it resistant to scratches. Wow, that's a rather rare find then. Do you like to read books? Teresa's chamber was full of them, so I spent a lot of time reading. Ragnarok is a record of battles from the Age of Myth. I've read it several times now. <laughs> anyway, coins like that are hard to come by. Where did you get it? It's a long story. Never mind then. So, were you deciding something with that coin toss? Not anything I can talk about yet. Oh, I'm sorry for prying. That's my boy. Uh, let's see. Is the Hanged Man just an area boss for literally everywhere? I genuinely forget. But I have vague memories of him being around constantly. And being an asshole the entire damn time. You better be ready. Come on, really? Enemy Guru, we're still getting more skills as we beat up more bad guys. There's no guard. Do we just go in? Wait. 
This isn't what I expected. There's a barrier over it. They changed the security. You weren't kidding, were you? That scorpion and this barrier, all part of your curse. You'll be lucky if that's the worst of it. A direct assault would be a bad idea. What's the plan? Down the cliff, there should be an entrance used during the fortress's construction. We'll check that. See if it you wants us research. to go that way. I had to, didn't I? <laughs> Lotus, aka Snake Thing. Uh, weak to Earth Attack. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. And we got a regular waistcoat. Nice. You're fighting the Reaper! You know, it actually doesn't say that there's an exit down here. Thought the research would just be the way to go. Oh. Yeah, that is. That is the way to go. Nope. Not right now. So these, I believe, are the plant monsters. Yeah, yeah. Always ready to fight. walk in, oh, hit with a break way. skill, and then everything dies. We're now in the actual use Still skill about it. separation time because those are already maxed those are already maxed now you get these time you can't use items reduced which we will never ever ever need but we'll have it on hand just in case mm. so no going there for now So, down the cliff it be. Hmm, I 
wish it would give me a damn little casing for it. Time? 40 minutes. <sighs> Got time then. the way in this one's actually guarded which means there's no barrier let's move everyone stop those guards are careful they're not what they see yep armored demi-human lizards I remember right, Megasonic Thrust. Yes. Armored. So. They've transformed into demons! What kind of curse is this, Isaac? I warned you, didn't I? Expect these guards to carry the demon blight. Is this your curse again? Probably. If I'd charged in, that might have turned ugly. Thank you for stopping me. Don't thank me. He's the one who noticed the danger. <sighs> in that case, I'll be counting on you to keep watch. After all, we've got a Reaper with us. Who knows what else we'll find? She's saying it's all right to talk. Thank you, Rokuro. Understood. Keeping watch. Oh, of course I get an amber bracelet from that. Which heck, have I even equipped it? I am a cheeseburger sometimes. I'll finish this quick. Ow. Why would you use that? I'm trying to get you to use goddamn steering edge. There. Oh, and of course you get the shot on it. Kill it! You do not need to be using Megasonic fucking thrust to kill a wolf. I wish I had power like that. I forget about it. Thirty-five combats for each of those. Hey. You're fighting the Compassion from me. All right, y'all ready for some carnage up in here? No, 
good, because neither am I. When we've only got like 10 minutes left. But we can certainly try. Hmm. Looks like there are demons inside as well. Don't tell me, Eisen. You're the source of demon blight. Nope. It's just our bad luck to be around when it's spread. This is what it means to walk with the Reaper. You've only yourselves to blame. It works in our favor. The enemy won't be capable of an organized response. And we're a small group. Our mobility will be an advantage in the chaos. Hmm. So, Aizen, how do we open the Seagate? The controls ought to be located in the upper part of the gate. We'll activate them and then send a signal. Got it. To the top of the gate, then. Come on, really? and ring. Got it. Now there was one more enemy down here. There was a ghost. They're weak to fire and just getting punched in the face. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Unarmed? <laughs> Hardly. These are deadly weapons. I think you've mastered every other ring except for the aqua ring. So you're just gonna have to keep that on hold for a second. Tarnished coins... stuff. Not all the ships left. A battleship. Not good. A fortress with a sea gate that blocks the entire strait. It's crazy what the Abbey can build. Until recently, I might not have believed it possible. It's no sweat if you're using Malakim as tools. If Malakim can be made a blade to fell demons, they can also be made a hammer to forge metal. It's another way the Abbey and the Kingdom show their dominance to the people. It says, do not resist, submit. It's disgusting is what it is. Disgusting. Agreed. This is honestly a really cute, cool view of just like, hey, look how fucking big this goddamn gate is. Look at that fucking sip over there. It's not afraid to, like, put walls up and say, hey, this is where you are. 
as opposed to some other things that would just do a vast ocean that away. Heck, there's even that door over there, so this is probably like all actually just a 3D thing. Which is fucking dope. This game is made both ugly by its 3D and also very beautiful by its 3D in my opinion. Hell, it even lets you get views like this where you can look down on things. Not a lot of games give you the freedom to do that now. They don't like building that tall. This door should lead to the gate, but it looks like they've got it locked up tight. Well, brute force is out. Intruders! How dare you set foot in our domain! Where's the key? I am a proud knight of Midgand. I'm not about to yield to the likes of petty demons. There's nothing I hate more than someone else trying to control the direction of my life. My wheel is mine to hold. If I'm not the one steering the ship, then I'm not truly alive. The one steering. <laughs> Indeed. And my entire life is devoted to the defense of this fortress. <sighs> then you better be ready to accept all that happens to you in the line of duty. <sighs> Maybe it's time we found out just how deep your devotion truly goes. <sighs> Take it easy. There's nine more fingers to go. Wait! The key is in the control room. Through there! <sighs> One more question. Which way to the battleship? Straight ahead. Up the stairs. Got it. Well, thank you for handling that. It just comes naturally. We need that key, but we also need to take out the battleship before it sails against the Von Eltia. He's right. The control room or the docks? Which will it be? <sighs> Let's start searching. Okay. We'll probably do this last conversation, and that'll be it for now. You know, you're pretty good with your fists, Aizen. Not as good as you are with your swords. I feel like I've seen a lot of your crew with swords. Do you really never use them yourself? No, not with the Reaper's curse, I don't. It likes to rear its head at the worst times. I've broken blades just by unsheathing them, and once, just as I was about to deliver a finishing blow, my blade separated from the hilt and went flying. That sort of thing. A sword isn't something I can rely upon when my life is at stake. I fight using only my own body. That's one less thing that can go wrong. It's too bad you're not a swordsman. I bet we could have had a hell of a fight. I wouldn't need a sword to make it interesting. What do you say? Want to try your sword against my curse? Sure, if the right time comes. Just don't whine when I end up winning. You took the words right out of my mouth. And then they were bros. Well, here's where the real show starts. Do we have a plan first, mate? The fortress guards are almost all ordinary soldiers. Just a handful of exorcists to deal with. They went to the trouble to build this huge gate. You'd think they'd keep it better defended. 
You don't need an army of exorcists to keep a bunch of disorganized pirates under control, do you? As long as they're fighting ordinary humans, the royal army would suffice. So a few exorcists as officers is all they need. It was built as a symbol of the Empire. But it seems Artorius is the one really giving the orders. The Abbey directs security and defense, and Imperial soldiers are under exorcist command. We aim for the exorcists then. The harder they are, the more fun it'll be. Ready to bust some heads? I'd rather cut them, actually. <laughs> yes, don't worry. Oh, did I never leave this call? No. Oh. Well, color me impressed. I was just recording some videos before I go to bed. Eh, Tales of Versaria. You know. I'm surprised no one else showed up. Alright. 